Hey guys. Hey guys. How are you doing? I hope that you can hear this because it's windy. And raining. And it's a little cold. But so I was at CC's Coffee and you know living a life of faith and doing what we do on a day to day basis is like God taking care of us all the time. So we went over to the East Bank to go ahead and get us some something to eat and um, we were going to go get coffee at, at Starbucks. And the whole thing was we had to leave after 7 o'clock. I don't know why I'm going in detail. But after 7 o'clock so that when money hits the account tomorrow morning, we don't bounce the checking account. Have, has anybody ever been there? I'm just, I'm being real with you, okay? So we go to Starbucks, but we felt like we needed to go someplace else because our plan was because we're going to travel and there's a there's an expense that we need we um we needed God to do so we went and we wrote down everything that we needed for the month and we were believing God to do that and so what ends up happening is Carrie talk while I go in there well anyway what we were in CC's and writing our needs and asking God for the things and we were writing scripture of provision and finance and resources and believing and praying and on the way out of CC's um, we see a lady sitting right by the door and Micah asked her if she needed prayer and the thing is as we were driving to CC's we didn't, the gas light had came on on the car and it said we needed gas. So now I'm like, okay, God, I, the account's negative. I have to put gas in the car. I really don't want to bounce the checking account anymore. And how am I going to get back to um, the West Bank? And so this is what ends up happening. We asked this lady, can we pray for her? And we're thinking that she's some nice Christian we lady. She was maybe like, yes, of course. Of like, course. Like everyone always says, yes, for prayer, right? And she's like, no. No. <laughs> she is a Jehovah Jehovah's Witness. Witness. So she was like, um, you can't pray for me because we don't believe in the same thing. And she goes into major detail about her belief. And, um, but then she's like, I am so proud that there are young people out here that know the scripture because, you know, the we were end, like having a scripture quoting contest. <laughs> I went toe to toe with her because one of her main things was she didn't believe in the Trinity. We won't go into that. But, but anyway, she says, y'all are young people. Y'all know the Bible. And I'm just so proud to see beautiful a beautiful young couple quoting scripture and she gets out of her get reaches down and pulls all the money that she, she had, had in her in her back, pur in her purse, purse yeah. and gave to us she just like randomly gave us money and we were like what and the thing is is that we had just got a prophetic word that god was going to begin to provide with Un, from unexpected, unexpected sources and resources, unexpected resources were about to come. And so, just to sum it up, you know, we started out the night, we had to leave after 7 o'clock because we didn't want to get NSF fees and we bounced the checking account knowing that, well, believing my faith that money was going to be in the account tomorrow morning. And then... We went ahead and we were driving to CC's Coffee, and I'm paraphrasing for all the people that came on live stream, paraphrasing, and the gas light came on, and I didn't have enough gas to get back home. And so we stopped at CC's, we're writing down a bunch of scriptures and decreeing, and we actually wrote down about three or four pages of scripture, and then we actually wrote out a prayer, and we signed it and submitted it to God. We sent a decree into the heavens because we we, we're believing for not just for our needs to be met, but there's a friend of ours in South Africa that needs $2,000 for his church and that needs to be built. 
And so we're believing that God's going to give us the $2,000 by the end of the month to send to him to build his church. Yeah. And then there's missionaries that we support in Zambia, Guatemala, and stuff like that. And so here it is, you know, bouncing the checking account and then not having gas to get home. And so God says, pray for that lady. And even though she didn't believe, even though she didn't want, like she said, don't no, pray for me because I don't believe in what you believe. She still allowed us to she still sowed seed. Yeah. Because she said that if you are brave enough to ask me for, for prayer and you are brave enough to sit there and try and get me to change my mind to become a Christian and not to be a Jehovah's Witness, mm -hmm. then I have to put money in your hand because there is one thing that I believe is sowing and reaping. Yeah. God is amazing. Which blew my mind. A Jehovah Witness put gas in, put our, gas in our car is what I'm saying. It was so funny. We've been laughing the whole way. That is how I actually am getting back home tonight. Thank you, Lord. That's Unexpected resources. That's what I'm saying. But it, we didn't go to her, like, as soon as we found out that she doesn't believe the same thing, we weren't, like, horrible to her or anything. We were loving, kind, peaceful, like, we didn't go yeah. crazy that's the thing like you know we still showed her love and she was like you two are so kind and i think it's through the kindness and love of god that she sowed seed into that yes because we weren't like you're going to hell or anything like that or what you believe is wrong we just we said you know god is love and and this is what we believe and we quoted our scriptures she quoted her scriptures and stuff like that but what i'm saying is is that we we didn't let go of that prophetic word yeah we didn't the prophetic word that unexpected riches unexpected wealth yeah. unexpected resources are coming yeah. and even though in the natural everything looks bad even though in the natural what we need to happen within the next week doesn't seem like it's going to happen god's word comes to pass yeah. and i just i want uh, a scripture came to us tonight and it keeps coming to my mind right now i'm in the gas station right now um i filled up don't worry but it's isaiah 23 and 18 he gained and her, her gain and her harlots wages were set apart to the lord it will not be stored up or hearted but her gain will become sufficient Efficient food and choice attire for those who dwell in the presence of the Lord. Her wages, her choice, everything that is given that she would have stored up, she's going to give it to the people that stay in the presence of the Lord. Yes. And that, that verse keeps coming to me tonight. Stay in the presence of the Lord. Stay in the presence of the Lord. And the best food of the land, the best that you can think of you're gonna wear you're gonna eat you're gonna have because they're not the the people that 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 are are are, are in the presence of God will walk in the abundance of God Amen. and that's what I just have to yeah. say to you today just decree and declare scripture. I'm a simple guy read check out the front part of this video I walk by what I say I live by what I say and and God has never failed me yet yes Amen. so let's let's so we pray. had to come on here because um, we had to share our testimony and I hope that our friends at faith pieces God hears this because we're always sharing testimonies with them and we love them so yeah, much we overcome by the word of our testimony so let's pray for him real fast okay. father I thank you I thank you, Father God, that people will give unto the people that are listening, pressed down, shaken together, and runneth over. Yes, that, Father God, when their gas light comes on, that you put gas in their gas tank through unexpected sources. Yes, unexpected yes. resources will begin to come to them. Unexpected provision. Unexpected things will begin to happen, Father God. I yes. pray, I decree and declare that provision will be their supply, and I decree and declare that provision 
and supply will be their slave come and it will Jesus. come to them whatever they ask they will receive father god thank you, i thank you father god that the riches of heaven will begin to pour out upon them like never before yes. and i thank you father god that you're not a god that will fail you, but you will strive with them you will be with them you you are a god that knows everything before it happens that you've been through everything with us yes, and i thank you father god that you are going to provide Provide thank you for the people under the sound of my voice. Yes, Father God. Thank, thank you. you, Lord God. We bless you, Father. We thank you, Father God, that you will send our friends and family to the right places so that the unexpected resources will come to them and that they will be on their live streaming saying, Wow, look what God has done for me. We thank you, Father God, for blessing them abundantly in this new year. And just bring the right people into their life that they can sow into their yes, lives Lord too, God. Lord Jesus. Thank you that the love of God will shine and flow through them. That when they, they look at people, that the others will see your love in their yes, eyes, Lord Jesus. Your love. Yes, thank you, Father God. Yes, Lord God. And I thank you, Father God, that, Lord God, you provide for rent. You provide for electricity. You provide... Yes. For car payments, I thank you, Father God. You provide for cell phone payments for the people in the sound of my voice. And medical bills. And medical bills. I thank you, Father God, that that bills will be wiped out, that debt freedom will come in the name of Jesus. Come on, Jesus. And I thank you, Father God, that as they sow seed, that it's not just a hundredfold, it's not just tenfold, but according to Deuteronomy 1 and 11, that, 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 that you will multiply it a thousand times over. Thank you, Jesus. And I thank you, Father God, for providing for them in Jesus' mighty Thank name. Thank you, Father, that their storehouses will be full and overflowing in Jesus' yes, name. Yes, Lord God. And I thank you, Father God, that they won't look at the natural. They won't look at the circumstances. They won't look at what's happening right now. But, Father God, that they will press forward because it says in James that you are a giving God. Yes, Father. And that you will give, Father God, when we ask. So all we have to do is ask. So, Father God, I thank you that when we ask, that you, that when we ask you here and we believe that it will come to pass Thank you, in Jesus name and I just speak a blessing over the people that are listening right Thank now and in thank Jesus you for name. your peace to fill them too. Yes, in the Lord waiting God. that your peace will be so evident and yes, abundant, Lord God. Father God. That they will just jump on thank your you, lap and hide in you, Father God. Yes, Lord God. Thank we you, thank you, Lord God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And I just want to add before I before I get off. You know, I, I said you can go and you can read, you can listen to the message from start to finish but I just want to add this I didn't get depressed I didn't get angry with God I didn't doubt God I, I didn't stop believing in God but I still press forward and and you know when that lady said hey I don't believe in what you believe in I'm a Jehovah Witness but I'm going to put money in your hand that right there I mean just show me how much God has the riches stored up for us that it will come from not just uncommon people not just uncommon resources but the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the believer yes it's true you know when you believe by faith you walk by faith you don't take anything with you you go and you go and you go and you go and you get everything for the demonstration for the preaching of the gospel amen amen yep. all right guys listen to the video from the beginning yeah. i'm gonna get across this hewlett Long bridge because we've got gas i have gas <laughs> and i have a full tank of gas Ooh, god filled my tank up come on now when he blesses he blesses <laughs> now remember when you go with us around the world when you so seen, you go with us around the world and you partner with us to show a real Jesus to a real world. So I pray that God puts it on your heart to pray for us and so see that way. But if God puts it on your heart to so see uh, financially, our website is www.mmitchell.net. All right. Thank you, guys. Love you. We love you. Bye. God bless.